Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the general surgery course. We'll be starting uh, talking about the arterial surgery. It's a continuation of the previous lecture and in the previous lecture we have been talking about the arterial occlusion and the stenosis. Today, uh, let's have a, um, uh, have a look at the outline. We'll be talking about gangrene most specifically. And in that, we'll be talking about the wet gangrene and the dry gangrene. Uh, we'll be talking about the consequences of the wet gangrene and the dry gangrene. We'll be talking about the distribution, like is it proximal to distal or is it distal to proximal? And we'll be talking about the causative factors and the phenomena behind the development of the gangrene, particularly the peripheral vascular disease and the atherosclerosis. Uh, we'll be talking about the uh, special varieties of the gangrene, like diabetic foot, the factors which are responsible for the development of the gangrene in the patient uh, with the diabetes mellitus, what is the factor of the, um, you know, high sugar level on uh, the nerves, what is the effect on the blood supply, what is the effect on the immunosuppression. We will be talking about uh, the bed sores, their stages, and how you're going to treat the patient. Uh, today, we'll also be talking about the frostbite, what it is, in which areas it is particularly common, and how you are going to treat that case. Uh, we will be talking about acute arterial occlusion. And in case of the acute arterial occlusion, uh, what is the phenomena actually? What is the mechanism behind that? We'll be talking about the embolic occlusion. We'll be talking about thrombotic occlusion. So one thing, uh, what is the difference in the presentation of the embolic occlusion and the thrombotic occlusion? We'll be talking about the origin of the emboli, uh, most of the time, like the heart and how they're going to present to you. We'll be talking about the manifestations of the embolic occlusion, uh, how the patient is going to develop acute limb ischemia and what would be the symptoms. Uh, we will be talking about the, the five P's, which are very much important whenever you are trying to investigate or um, ask about uh, the acute limb ischemia. We will be talking about uh, the treatment, the role of the anticoagulant therapy, the role of the anti-thrombotic uh, therapy. We'll be talking about how you're going to do the embolectomy or thrombolysis. Then uh, another thing which is uh, to be discussed in today's lecture is about the compartment syndrome and why it develops and how you're going to treat like the fasciotomy and how particularly the effect of the fasciotomy in the case of the compartment syndrome. We'll be talking about acute uh, mesenteric ischemia and obviously the causative um, factor behind this is uh, embolic occlusion. We, we will be talking about the presentation and how you're going to treat that patient. Beside that, we'll be talking about the different other forms of the emboli, particularly the infective and parasitic fat emboli, air embolism, and the venous embolism and their manifestation as well. We'll be talking about therapeutic embolization as well. We have other lectures on our site, which is cardia.com. You can go there, get access, and enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com.